This is not exactly a retro review, so run the intro again. <sighs> welcome everyone to uh, future reviews. If you're here, welcome. This is a one time only show. You're so lucky. In 2024, now, I suppose more than ever, we're bringing things back from the past that we absolutely love. If you're like me, that could include vinyls. Dark Side of the Moon. Chef's kiss. That also includes chart music. Retro music is coming back into the modern day charts because it's being used in popular TV shows. Like my name on the golf course, Kate Bush. But the last one I'll mention on a very long list, Polaroid pictures are back. Canvas cost a fortune. So in saying all that, it should be no surprise to you that we're seeing more and more nods, I suppose, from golf manufacturers to previous innovations. A bit like this one. I'm excited about this. Before I show you, um, first of all, this is obviously late. I want to do this on embargo, but many things are happening in Al's life, which has made this a bit harder. Um, I think the majority of that stuff is now over. We've got a lot of reviewing to do, so if you want to see that, see all the products, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Like I say, never any pressure to do so, but if you don't, this is where your golf ball is going to end up. That noise. Ow. Well, your ball's going to hit Brenda if you don't subscribe, so it's up to you. As, as Alexander Graham Bell once said, say hello to my little friend. You'd be forgiven for thinking we're stuck in the 90s. Sometimes I wish we were. But no, this is the new TaylorMade Burner Copper Mini Driver. And I am, it's borderline wall material, if you know what I mean. Not hit, stick it up, collect, that kind of thing. It is, if there's a sound I wanted to associate with my love for this golf club, this would be it. Wrong one. So we have retro reviews most Fridays and this has taken up a retro review slot because look at it. I feel like applying for a chimney sweep job just looking at it. But the performance, let's just say that's definitely in 4K. Al would like to let you know that he is not using a T for the following shot. First swing of the day. Wasn't that bad. Slight pull, but off the deck, 283 yards. Now when I say first swing of the day, that's a YouTube quote, isn't it, that one? We've not even warmed up yet. That feels, ha, <laughs> you see this? Are you watching what I'm watching? And to give you some sort of proof and validation, that Al is still in bed. That was a 112 mile an hour club head speed with an output of 162 miles an hour. So I think we found the center of the, uh, I was gonna say orifice, twist face orifice around here and it feels absolutely brilliant. Let's talk about visuals first of all, which I will a lot in this video because, well, heart eye emoji. It is beautiful. Vintage vibes, that retro tailor-made logo, a huge nod to the late 90s driver. <sighs> that is, that is Brenda. That is Brenda. Yeah, play, play that clip. So what you'll notice here is, it's called a mini driver. It has three wood features. And for me, what I've always found with the Mini Driver, it has three wood spin, or there or thereabouts. That was a draw right to left. Yes, given it was at the bottom at 3,716. So if you're worried of, you know, you can't get the driver in the air due to spin, maybe launch, then I would definitely look at something like this. I feel like I'm aiming that way. <laughs> we might need to reset. I don't think Brenda can take any more balls. 
might have to show this after watershed at this rate. Not only does it look really good from a shelf appeal perspective, but down at the ball, my goodness. Very, very clean, but yet very trendy with that copper top line. It is something very special, I have to say. I mean, if you're new to golf, you will be forgiven for thinking this is a relic. But if you actually look around this, this is stuffed with technology. Straight away, we've got speed pocket technology, of course. It's 2024. It's been with us a very long time in tailor-made products, and that is protecting, again, that lower half of the face, the strikes that hit, the common strike that hits lower, the bottom groover. Now, this is a great bit of technology when it's coupled with this K sole. This is a new sole getting sort of... V-steel vibes, but it's K-steel, K K-titanium actually. But this is to help glide through the turf on shots with low tees where you're still making contact with the ground and also of course, as mentioned, and we will be hitting more shots off of the deck. Here we go. That might look a bit like a golf shot. Oh, we've gone for Barbara this time. But we're getting a little bit faster. Strike's still not there, but this is a 280 deck easy golf club. And uh, I tell you, there's a 300 deck here. I just, that, 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 that. Right, let's use a little T. Straight jump up, height in the face to 189, one, one, eight, you wish, 169 ball speed. Still no difference really in carry, um, even though that was a little bit faster, because we've got a higher launch. 291, love to see it. We've also got twist face technology, again, protecting and assisting the miss hits. And in terms of spec, this is a 304 cc head, so it's not even close to the cc of a driver. It's definitely more fairy wood territory, obviously still slightly bigger. I've got the 13.5 degree head here. 11.5 is also available. Now, one of the big bonuses with modern technology, which we didn't have at the time of this burner driver, is of course, serious adjustability. Now we've got weight in here. You'll see one weight that's got the 13 gram heavy at the back, and currently we've got the light 1.5 gram at the front. We're gonna flip those, first of all, put all the weight and mass forwards, and then we're gonna be a bit silly. Obviously this is set at 13.5 degrees at standard. We're gonna go on the loft sleeve and knock it down another two to 11.5, so it is basically gonna play like a driver. Is that drawing? Not really, but 307 straight out of the blocks. Look at that spin rate and look at that launch. So, blocked. Right, we've got that huge increase. We're carrying it basically the total we had before. Mad, isn't it? People have asked in the past with other mini drivers, I've always gone on about how much of a fan I am. Why is this not in my bag? And I love my driver. It's one of my, well, it is my favorite club in the bag. I feel pretty confident with my driver. And I feel if my driver's not working, going down to this, well, it's a smaller surface area. I know, let's be honest, it's, it is going to help us, especially with RPM, but my feeling is if my driver's not working, my swing's not working, there's a good chance this isn't going to work, so we might have to go back to like a utility or an iron and change swing path. If we've got low spin here, this could be good. 306, oh, I love that, man. I love that. There's definitely more in this. Like I say, Al's still in bed, but it's very attractive if you're, you like the vintage stuff, but it's got every single piece of technology, as we mentioned earlier, modern tech, retro vibe. It's, it's my favorite, it really is. Now let's go and have a look at the numbers. So numbers here, we've got a bit of a mumble jumble. We've got obviously deck, T, and then also the change of loft, but we'll go through them individually. Um, Picasso would be proud with that. A bit of a mess, isn't it? But the one which swings for me, I mean, this is where, when I had the mini driver in the bag, off the deck is when I used it the most. Then we moved, then we moved to the T, didn't really see that much difference in terms of distance gains, um, just with the same setup from deck to T. I feel like probably I was 
more of an aggressive launch off the deck, but we had the RPM and then it, that just swapped around a little bit. Then we get to T with more of a driver setup, so we swapped those weights around and then we used that loft sleeve, which I would advise to just crank this down because again, we're going driver territory, but if you're not able to use a driver, this is still for me easier to launch and I think you guys would find that too. So again, fitting is very important, not only to find your club, but then tune that club to match your bag and find the perfect spot. First one went out to the right a wee bit, which is purely swing. The second one, we obviously got the club face square, better path. Guys, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. We've got a lot of outside to do when it stops raining. I don't know if you can hear that. It's, I want to go outside with this. It is horrendous, but we've got a lot of travel coming up, starting next week. Very exciting. Some huge collabs, keep an eye out. Obviously hit the bell notification so you get notified and follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll be back on Twitch live streaming. See you soon.